We are here at the Mill Creek Mall in Erie, Pennsylvania to ask questions and investigate the free market system. Are you looking for anything particular at the mall today or just shopping around? I'm by except for my wedding. I'm just here to pick up an engagement ring. Do you have a favorite store at the mall? Of course I have a favorite store at the mall. What it's Claire's. It? Because it has all the accessories a girl needs. I sure do. It's Spencer's. Victoria's Secret. Because I'm a girl and I like girly stuff. <laughs> Probably GameStop. I like to go to like... It, like mom and pop stores. Definitely Express. That's my go-to store. I think it depends on what age you are and what you like is to what stores you shop at. Do you think it is fair to have one store to be favorite and get the most customers? You can't really, you know, tell people like what they can and can't like. If a lot of people like one store more than the other, then there's nothing you can really do about it. Honestly, people shop for things they need. If they want to be in that store, that's what they need. It's all how they market their product. I think people go to stores for what they like or maybe where their friends shop, but whether it's fair or not, it's just what people like. Well, I mean, I think the people choose the stores that they want to go to. So how would it be if all the stores offered the same products as opposed to having a larger amount of diversity? Uh, it'd be kind of boring, actually. Yeah. A little boring because you want to go to the store for unique gifts and stuff like that. That's why they come to Spencer's because you have unique gifts. But there's no unique gifts anywhere. It's everybody's the same. You don't all have to be equal. Um, probably I. I don't think I'd like to have all the stores having the same products. And I, I like the variety of the mall because there is so many different stores. Anything that you're looking for, you know, jewelry, clothing, uh, music doesn't matter. You can find it here. No, I, I don't think that would be helpful to have all the same products in the same stores. I definitely think it's a good idea that you have a variety of stores. Everyone has different likes and dislikes, so you need to have something for everyone. So I probably wouldn't come here. It's all the same. There's no use. There's no real uh, variety. It's good that all stores aren't equal because not everybody likes the same things. So where I shop will not be where somebody else wants to shop. How would you feel if there was a system that ensures all stores will have equal number of customers customers, and therefore be fully successful? I mean, well, I guess like, okay. I'm like really interested in business. So like, I feel like, I mean, it's kind of like the stores need like a goal. So they need to strive to be better than each other. So I think that you can't really like set them all to be equal because then they won't really have anything to work for. Um, I don't think it would you can have the same amount of customers come into different stores and they're not going to buy the same amount so I don't think that would make much of a difference. No. Um, it's the manager's duty to make his own success in the store and it's, it's all a competition really for survival. I don't think there's a system that could make shopping more fair because people buy what they like, where they like, that's the American way. Do you feel there's any restrictions for people at the mall? Some of the freedom, well, I mean, there are lots of types of different stores, so you have the freedom to buy what you want and where you want. Restrictions, I think you have to have a lot of money to shop at the mall. And so that might be a restriction if somebody doesn't have a lot of money. What does Mr. equality mean when shopping at the mall? Equality, I, I think just being able to come to the mall and go over to whatever store you want to and not feel like you have to go to one store, you can shop wherever you want. What do you think about the concept, freedom and equality? Freedom versus equality is a really cool concept, especially because there's no correct answer. So what's required is not either freedom or equality, but a balance. Um, 
And what Free to Choose is great about is because it challenges you to think about what is about concepts like this. In school, no one would ever ask me to think about what's freedom versus equality. That's something you get uniquely here. And I would say that the terms are somewhat misleading. I like the terms equality of opportunity and equality of outcome because they have much less connotations attached to them. When you say freedom, your mind jumps to bing bing, something that's good about our country. I don't know how to define it. It doesn't matter, it's good. Um, and that's not the kind of thought you need. You need to think that truly equality of opportunity is more important than equality of outcome because people are not all the same. And if we try and make everyone end up the same, we're, we're cheating people out of their true potential. Tell us what you liked about the experience here. I think looking around the mall and taking all those pictures, and I really liked that a lot. One of the things I liked about today is that we did the, the B-roll. I thought that was really fun. I really liked going out with doing the uh, video recording outside of the mall when we were like in the car and we were uh, getting the overview of like the entire mall parking lot. I liked mostly filming the people and using the equipment. I thought it was really fun to like use the camera and like actually get a feel of what it was like doing this kind of stuff. Um, filming this video was really fun because of all the really nice equipment. I've, I've done videos before, but it's really cool because when we come here, we get to work with people who actually make videos for a living and know what they're doing and get to use equipment that's real professional equipment. And that sets this experience apart from other videos I've made. I liked meeting the new people and using the equipment and being able to make the video. I liked how people had their different opinions and they like spoke about like what they really thought. I liked the food, the drinks, and walking around. What I liked was um, walking around taking pictures of like stuff. I liked everything about this. It was just like a really fun experience. I learned how to use the video cameras and just a lot of technical stuff with the cameras. Uh, it was cool to like uh, film and stuff and ask people questions. And I don't know, it was, it was interesting because everyone like had a different take on like each question, so yeah, just, it was interesting to get the different opinions and stuff. Do the recording and stuff to make it so you're able to hear the person speak and um, take them in the picture. It was pretty good. I like to like shoot the video camera. I liked meeting new people and making the video. It's been a good experience. I liked working with the equipment a lot. I think it was lots of fun. I enjoyed shooting uh, B-roll, uh, the parking lots, shooting the cars come by, and some of the buildings, uh, people going into stores. That was pretty cool. Well, I felt, felt that this whole experience was a wonderful time um, and a wonderful opportunity to get to know people. Also, I really like going behind the scenes and actually working with the video equipment. I learned a lot about how film was produced and what to expect from it. And then I also like the topic this year with the freedom versus equality because it exposed a lot, a broader perspective on what freedom means and what equality means, not just in like a po political sense, but in like an actual day-to-day -day kind of sense as well. So it was wonderful.